So guys, in today's video, we are going to be hopping over on the PC and using some awesome, awesome mod tools. Today, we're going to be using weapons like the AK-47, the FAL, the MP7, and many more. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys do, a like rating would be very much appreciated. Also, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. To enter this month's gift card giveaway, all you have to do is drop a like on the video, comment something down below, and also stay subscribed to the channel. Good luck, guys, and enjoy the video. Alrighty, guys, so here we are. We are on Black Ops 3 right now, and uh, we're actually going to be using mod tools, something that, like, I usually don't really use on the channel, but I find really, really fun. Like, they're always really fun to use. So today, what we actually are going to be looking at is some crazy weapons in mod tools. So if we just take a look at the weapons, like, you can already see, like, these are some awesome, awesome weapons. So we have the M19. 27. I'm not too familiar with this and we have the mp40 but we have the hg40 in black ops 3 as a dlc weapon So that's not really new, but we have the vector here a submachine gun from black ops 2 We also have the vesper. I don't know what that's doing there But we have the chico we have the mp7 you guys should all be familiar with this weapon I've talked about this weapon all the time in black ops 3 and uh, we can actually use it in this mod tools pack Which is absolutely amazing next we have the pdw another submachine gun from black ops 2 next We have the uzi you guys should be familiar with the uzi next we have the mp5 another very very classic submachine gun in the call of duty series so moving on to the assault rifles we have the m27 another famous assault rifle we have the stg44 the galil a recently added dlc weapon in call of duty black ops 3 next we have the scar a black ops 2 assault rifle we have the an94 next we have the mtar another assault rifle uh next we have the m14 the fal one of my personal favorite weapons ever in call of duty we have the ak-47 i would love to see an ak-47 dlc weapon come into black ops 3 at some point but you know we don't have it yet but still we can use it in this mod tools pack so no worries man moving on to the shotguns for some reason we have the ray gun mark 2 we have the remington shotgun and we have the m12 16 for light machine guns we have the lsat we have the minigun which i really really want to try out we have the rpd and we have the mg08 and for the sniper rifles we have the dsr50 and the ballista and of course we actually have some uh, secondaries as well the m1911 the b23r a very very famous um sort of pistol we have the executioner 5 7 and the Olympia for some reason in the pistol category. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun using these kind of throwback weapons or whatever. Uh, it'd be awesome to see like any of these weapons come into Black Ops 3 as DLC weapons. But you know what? We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna kill some bots and I'm just gonna showcase a bunch of awesome weapons. All right, guys. So here we go. Here's the first weapon. I'm showcasing the PDW. Oh my Lord. So um, if you guys watch a lot of my videos, I've talked about how the PDW, like the coding in the game is sort of in Black Ops 3. Um, but we just literally have never seen this weapon as a DLC weapon, but here is the PDW, dude. Holy Lord. I used to use this submachine gun all the time in Black Ops 2. I mean, a lot of people use this submachine gun, you know what I'm saying? So, it's super amazing. Oh my god. It was known for its, like, huge clip. Like, it has a fantastic, like, clip magazine or whatever, uh, for it. Like, so many bullets in the magazine, but oh my god, this weapon feels so good to use, dude. Holy Lord. I'm so excited that we can use this. Whoa, get over here, man. And then we have the B23R pistol. Uh, this pistol is actually from Black Black Ops 2. Uh, everyone just always used this as like their sidearm if they were using like the blister or something like that or sniping with the DSR. Now you guys should be all familiar with the AK-47. I mean seriously, this is probably the most, I guess, iconic assault rifle to be in Call of Duty, like ever, you know what I'm saying? Did I just get stuff? Yeah, like I was saying when I got interrupted by the, uh, the sticky grenade, this is probably the most iconic, um, you know, assault rifle in Call of Duty history, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's the AK-47. Like, if you ask anyone, yo, just name a random weapon off the top of your head, they, they will probably say the AK-47, you know what I mean? It's just one of those iconic weapons that everyone knows. Next up here, we have the SCAR-H, guys, and the AN-94. Uh, let's use the SCAR for a bit. Let's use the SCAR. Oh, let's go, baby. Now, the SCAR in Black Ops 2, it was sort of like a hybrid weapon. Like, a lot of people thought it was, like, the hybrid of, like, an LMG and, like, an assault rifle. Like, it's such, it's such a powerful assault rifle to use. Probably one of my favorite assault rifles in Black Ops 2. And, dude, it is tearing stuff up right now. Imagine. Just imagine, you know, one day we're chilling, guys. We get a Black Ops 3 update, and bam, we get the Scar H as a DLC weapon in Black Ops 3. H how would you guys feel? Like, I would be so excited. Like, I would be the happiest dude in the world. Because the Scar H is one of those weapons that a lot of people used in Black Ops 2. You know what I'm saying? Like, so many people use this weapon. But anyway, next we're gonna move on to the AN-94. This was basically like the, I guess the AK of Black Ops 2, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of Call of Duties have like knockoff versions of the AK, you know what I'm saying? So this is the AN-94, another very famous, you know, sort of uh, assault rifle in Black Ops 2. And I love this one, man. This was such a fantastic weapon. Like, I don't know if it's as good as the AK-47, 
but it's still really, really good. Like, you guys can let me know how you guys feel about the AN. I mean, everyone used this assault rifle. It was so freaking good in Black Ops 2. And it's awesome that we can use it in Black Ops 3. I love mod tools, you know, it gives you the opportunity to use weapons from past Call of Duty games like this AN-94, you know what I'm saying, or this SCAR-H right here. Um, but yeah, you guys let me know in this video or in the comment section uh, during the video, what's your favorite weapon that I use? Because I'm going to be using a lot of these sort of mod tools, you know, weapons and all that good stuff, just showcasing a bunch of weapons uh, for you guys. And uh, if you guys have mod tools definitely definitely try out all these weapons like it's so fantastic of course this is actually on the pc all right guys so the next weapon we are going to showcase is the vector another submachine gun from black ops 2 a lot of people use this one i really didn't use it too much like it has such a fast rate of fire it was it was absolutely crazy but it wasn't too powerful it just had like a really fast rate of fire like as you guys can see it takes a little bit of time to kill people with the vector but nonetheless a pretty famous you know i, I guess submachine gun from black ops 2 i just remember the iron sights being super well for this thing like look at the iron sights i feel like they're just kind of perfect they kind of remind me of the mp7 a little bit damn dude actually using this thing it's kind of fun whoa <gasps> yo look at that this thing could take out so many enemies i don't know why in the kill feed it just has a skull like, I, I guess just because, you know, these are kind of like glitched weapons, you know what I mean? Like, they're not really supposed to be in the game. And also on this class setup, I have the Cheek Home, the Cheek Home CQB. Oh my gosh, dude, I remember this weapon. I remember this thing, bro. You had, it was a four round burst on machine gun. I'm almost certain that's what it said. Um, but yeah, dude, you had to tap, you had to tap fire with this thing. And it was really interesting to have sort of like a burst submachine gun in Black Ops 2. I remember that correctly. But seriously, this thing used to be super overpowered. Like I absolutely love the cheek comb. It was one of the weapons that I just used like a lot. And uh, I had some good times with this thing. Honestly, I had some good times. It was really, really powerful. And I really like the, the burst fire. Honestly, I, I really like the style of the burst fire for a submachine gun. Like usually we have like three round burst or four round burst assault rifles. Next up, guys, we are going to be using the MTAR. I believe this was one of the first or if not the first uh, assault rifle available in Black Ops 2, if I remember correctly. Uh, but still, this thing was really powerful as well. It's just your kind of generic, I guess, assault rifle for the game. But seriously... Oh my lord, dude, this thing is more powerful than I thought it was. Like, if I remember correctly. Dude, oh my lord. Oh god, I ran out of bullets. Alright, let's move on to the FAL. <laughs> let's move on to the FAL, baby. Now, this weapon, everyone should really know this weapon. It's a semi-auto assault rifle, and uh, this is definitely one of my favorite weapons to use in Call of Duty games. Like, I don't know why. There we go. Oh. Oh my god, there we go. <laughs> but this weapon, uh, yeah, definitely one of my favorite weapons to use in Call of Duty. Because, you know, like I said, I have a pretty good trigger finger, as you guys can see. So, you can definitely take out some people really quickly. Look at that, dude. Two bullets left. Just kill him. Next up here, we have the Remington. Uh, you guys should know this shotgun from Black Ops 2. It was just one of those shotguns that I really, really loved alongside the KSG. But unfortunately, the KSG is not in this mod tools pack. But either way... We're going to be using the Remington, just taking out people. I love shotguns, dude. Shotguns are probably one of the more fun weapons to use in, you know, Call of Duty games just because, bro, they take out people in like one burst. You know, if you're super up close to people, it will take people out really, really quickly. But this thing definitely brings back some memories, you know, some quad feeds with this thing, uh, just some cool moments using this shotgun in particular. Um, oh God, there we go. And it's really strange because, you know, when I use these, you know, Black Ops 2 weapons, right? I always had it on the 360. That's when I just, that's what I played, you know? Oh, collateral there. Um, but yeah, that's what I played on Black Ops 2. I used the Xbox 360. And it's weird to use these weapons with a PS4 controller. You know what I'm saying? Like, and moving on here, we have the Olympia. And this weapon is actually uh, from Black Ops 1, I believe. It was one of those shotguns from Black Ops 1. And it only has like two, I guess, slugs or whatever they're called in the chamber. So it's very, very strange. So you kind of have to be accurate with this weapon. It can get some hit markers here and there. But all around the Olympia... Oh, baby. But all around, the Olympia, uh, definitely a fun weapon to use. There we go, baby. Oh, my God. I actually really like the Olympia. It'd be cool to see this as a shotgun in Black Ops 3. Like, look at this thing, dude. I would love to get this thing, like, Dark Matter. Because like, I feel like shotguns are so much fun to use. And we only have a Banshee shotgun in Black Ops 3. You know what I'm saying? Like, we only have the Banshee as the, the shotgun DLC weapon in Black Ops 3. So it'd be really nice to see some more shotgun DLC weapons. And, uh... I think like a classic one like this would be really dope for a futuristic game or kind of like Black Ops 3 type game. It'd be nice to see like a classic sort of shotgun like the Remington or the Olympia. And next up we have the M14. It's sort of like uh, the FAL's younger brother. That's what I thought it was. Um, but basically, yeah, another semi-auto assault rifle here. And if you have a fast fire, you know, fast you know, trigger finger or whatever, you could definitely do some damage with this thing. Like, look, you can... 
Oh my god, bro, you can take out some people. Another, like, this is definitely one of my other favorite, um, you know, weapons in Call of Duty, just because I really like the, like, the semi-auto sort of weapons, you know, weapons that you can kind of just spray with if you have a nice trigger finger, like I said. And next up, we have this baby right here. I mean, seriously, everyone, everyone should know, um, this baby right here. We got the MP7, guys, the MP7, such a classic submachine gun seriously such a classic submachine gun uh the mp7 has been in the files of black ops 3 for so long and so many people think this is going to be a dlc weapon one day in black ops 3 um but you guys know i, I always talk about the mp7 and it'd be really awesome really awesome to see this thing come back i mean seriously it's such a powerful submachine gun it's one of those more more iconic sort of weapons like it tears people up look at this dude and i love the iron sights with this thing like the iron sights for that absolutely amazing but anyway guys that's going to do it for this video man i have so much fun using these mod tools just because like you're using weapons from past call of duty games in black ops 3 like a different call of duty and that's really fun to use like all of these weapons like let me know in the comment section your favorite weapon that i use today there was some weapons that i left out of this video so if you guys want to see sort of like a part two of this and maybe use some more classic weapons or whatever you guys can just let me know in the comment section down below just drop a like also subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new and uh, with that being said i will see See everyone on another video.